too, I've enjoyed our morning together. Uh, you, you seem to me like a, a student of, of life Yes. And, and art and you have an appreciation for you know different cultures and things around you and I mean you know nowhere is that more evident than this room that we're in mm-hmm. um, you know which I think is it feels like a story of your life in a lot of ways yes it is um, you know your, your story has been told many times <laughs> you know I'm not going to make you retell it um, you know but but just, you know, give me the, the high level version of, you know, what, what was the, the drive to enlist in the military? You know, I was born out of oppression. You know, my family lost their freedoms. Um, we escaped genocide. We were left or dead out at sea, drifted for 30 days. What I found in growing up is facing racism, facing oppression. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what racism is, right? It's oppression. Right. I, I was born in oppression. I lost my freedoms. I lost my country. But I was adopted by the Special Forces. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. my uncle was Special Forces. Mm. My stepfather was Special Forces. I was adopted with traditions, you know, and the values of being American. And I feel like that, you know, people struggle with finding purpose in life, do we not? Yes. What is our purpose? And I tell you, you know, purpose is found in your struggles. Mm-hmm. Purpose is found through the pain because that's, that's the only emotion that can change a human being. Mm-hmm. Pain, discomfort, right? Right. If you're comfortable, why change? So I found that, you know, being a refugee and, 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 and losing my freedoms and, and look, I saw a lot, you know, people died during, 400,000 refugees died just at sea. That's an unbelievable number. And there we were, in the bottom deck of a wood fishing boat. You know, and escaping oppression, and escaping, you know, the, the boats were intercepted by pirates. They were, these were fleeing refugees. They would board the boats. They would kill the men, rape the women. They would enslave the children into a life of slavery. And you know, the special forces, Deal press a libraire. Mm. Translator means from oppressed man to free man. Mm. That's my life. Yeah. So, as Bushido, as a warrior of the way, Bushido, Bushido, Bo means to stop, to intercept. She is the one who is strong enough. And those that take your whole life lesson to give back, it's a blueprint, it's a warrior's path to Shinto, which is the way of the old, that all things have a spirit in this physical world. Mm. To seek compassion and Confucianism in, in mindset of every day, mm. to be your best self. Yeah. Right? right? So I was raised with those values, you know? And I realized, Dio Presleber, what a powerful statement. Yeah. So that's why I went back. I, I went, I chose to be a Green Beret because I chose to be on the A-teams to go back and to free the oppressed. Mm-hmm. To fight for those who can't fight for themselves, to will myself and train my mind and body into a weapon, but to fight for compassion. Right. And that's Bushido. So would it be fair to say that, you know, your, your, your time, your pursuit in the military and special special forces, uh, you know, it was a little bit personal for you, because you you lived as, you know, being oppressed. You know, you were forced from your home. It's a miracle that you survived. Um, so, I mean, is there an element of that every time that you were deployed with your teams, fighting the good fight for the right reasons? I mean, was this was this a little bit personal? Well, each one of us have a monster, and we have a monster inside, and that monster is forged through suffering. Mm. It's our narrative in life, it's our battles, mm. right? It's our bad relationships, it's the judgment people place on us. So our monster is forged through that. Well, my monster was forged, drifting at sea, left for dead. My monster was when my uncles were drugged out to re-education camps. 
you know, and tortured out there. We mm -hmm. lost our freedom. So that was, well, yeah, that was my pretty motivation, big motivator, right? So that's what I mean. I didn't take it personal as in, oh, you know, I'm going to show the world. No, right. I did not take it like that. I did not take it as I'm going to show the world. I took it as I'm going to help the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And I knew that the Green Berets was my ticket to go back into foreign countries and to fight and free to oppress. What other job would allow that right. at that life and death level? Right. Right, right. So, it, to me, that's the way of the samurai, right? That was the way of Bushido. Right. So, where did that come from? Like, I'm standing here in front of your bookcase, and and you know, of uh, I, I, I'm always fascinated to look at somebody's bookcase. I think it's uh, it's revealing um, about a, a person and their personality, and I see a lot about uh, Japanese history and samurai. Um, where where did that come from? Was was that part of your upbringing? Was it something that you discovered in your youth and became curious about? Um, where where did that where did that come from? You know that is such an interesting story that everybody always gasps me. They they think that I have a identity crisis because I'm <laughs> I'm Vietnamese and I'm very samurai. You know, but there's a story. There's a story in everything, and each story has a life experience and an emotion. See, I want to put you on this, you know, my mother and father just divorced. Mm -hmm. I was eight years old. And uh, eventually my mother remarried to American Special Forces Green Beret. Think about the life of military discipline at that point. I wasn't ready for that at nine years old, you know. Waking up at four o'clock in the morning, making your bed, right. hand over the heart, raising the American flag, physical training before even even school. You have to lay out your, your clothes for school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Homework is done. Like that level of discipline, I'm saying. Right. And I'm thankful for everything, but I'm saying back, back then it was very difficult. Sure. Going from zero <laughs> discipline to that level of discipline. Yeah. So I didn't hear from my biological father for over a year, you know. And like any child, you know, you have problems with divorce, right? That's a hard thing. And then being indoctrinated into this life of discipline, I didn't want any of it. Right. It was hard for me. Sure. My mother finally, um, I was doing my homework. She came in one day and she said that this is from your father. You know, I haven't heard from my father over a year. So finally I opened up um, the box and within the box, it was four contents was four VHS tapes, and you know, it was, it was dub tapes, and it, it was written in Vietnamese. You know, I couldn't read Vietnamese at that age. Mm. So I randomly pulled a tape, and I threw it into the VCR, and it was the art of Budo. Mm. You know, if you don't understand what Budo is, is, is the combat side being samurai. It's the way a sword of mine, Yayo. It's the path of being a samurai, how to take life for the compassion of humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, the balance between life and death, right? And I thought it was so fascinating and, and it was strength and it was duty and it was honor. It was everything I didn't have. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a weak boy at that age. So I found Bushido and you know, my stepfather, he was uh, special forces. He was ex drill sergeant. So he taught me discipline. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, you know, I always tell you it's about consistency, you know, it's about discipline. Right. And it doesn't matter if you want it or not. So Bushido gave me a path, right. To being samurai. It, it gave me, when I say samurai is to live, in a, a state of mind of Confucianism, mm -hmm. to be better than you were yesterday. And mm -hmm. through your personal development internally, we develop a better world. Mm -hmm. You work on yourself, I work on myself. Are we not kinder humans? Mm -hmm. And we create a better world. Right. So that's the mindset behind the way, Bushido. You mm -hmm. know, my stepfather taught me discipline. He taught me hard work. He taught me, it doesn't matter how you feel. 
You're going to do what needs to be done because that's the right thing to do, no matter if you feel it or not. Yeah. So you taught me that, right? That's a powerful... Can you imagine that? That's a powerful skill to have at that young of an age. Sure. I just didn't see it back then, right? Right. But that's how I, uh, I found Bushido. Okay. It came to me during my worst time in my life when I was lonely and when I was the weakest because I was being picked on because I was Asian. Mm -hmm. It was racist times in America, post-Vietnam War years. Right. So yeah, I was being spit on, I was being called all sorts of names, and Bushido gave me, well at least back then, a glimpse yeah. of what it means to be a warrior. Right. And um, you know, I walked that warrior's path and um, it led me to the A-teams. Yeah, yeah. So that's Isn't why it? you see all these samurai uh, literatures, because yeah. I studied samurai. Because you've studied it, yeah. That's amazing. Um, you know, I notice uh, weaponry, you know, throughout this room, uh, you know, starting with, you know, some, some of the samurai swords. Well, the samurai say that the sword holds the soul of the warrior. This is more ceremonious, as you can see, the decoration line here. Mm -hmm. and this is the clan symbol. You can see the clan symbol on the saber, the sword. The samurais worked underneath a clan. That The clan serves the daimyo, which is the warlord. Right. So this right here um, dates back close to 700 years old. Yeah. You can see the, the stingray. Right. Mm -hmm. You can see the how they wrapped it. Everything is just, to me, perfect. All the details, all the markings. Well, especially for its age, right? There's, there's a clear pride of craftsmanship. So in your, in your time in the military, you know, you've, uh, you've traveled the world. You've traveled to almost 30 countries. You know, it's, it's also clear in looking around at the room that you have a respect and appreciation for other cultures, yes. you know, beyond samurai, beyond U.S. military. Um, there's uh, some tribal masks here. Are there, are, are these uh, tokens of visits in, in other places that you've been? Yeah, so you, some of these are from different countries within Africa, but this was up in Budamajida, northern Cameroon, when we were running with the Cameroon commandos um, doing counter poaching wars. Mm -hmm. You know, everything in this room has meaning, Patrick. Um, every trinket, every bracelet, every, everything has. Similar to, uh, you know, scars on your body. Yes. Um, they're reminders of battles fought and survived. Mm. And uh, being able to walk into a room like this and look around um, only imagining some of the stories behind some of these things um, is, is a life well lived and a mission well served. So you, uh, I also noticed a couple other little things here that you, you have a particular affinity, it seems, for Springfield. Yeah. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about that relationship. Well, you know, being on the cover of Springfield uh, <laughs> magazine. Um, no, Springfield approached me roughly about a year ago. And they were interested in finding, you know, uh, influence or just getting to know who I was, you know. And that's what I loved about the Springfield team. They flew me out. Um, to Illinois, I got to meet their team, got to see uh, the marketing team, got to see, you know, the, the manufacturing, just very family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, they, they asked me if I would be interested in being an ambassador for Springfield Armory. You know, look, what a huge honor. Absolutely. You know, seriously. and um, The history of that brand. The history uh, of that brand. I want to tell you the history. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't understand the history. It was that Springfield Armory was funded by George Washington. Mm -hmm. They started off making cannons. Right. 
If it wasn't for a company like that, we wouldn't have won our independence. We wouldn't have become Americans. Exactly. That's how, like, to me, to be signed they on. They are American. They are American. You yeah. know, what's really unique is I am too. Right. And my story is that American, you know, grit and, and strength and vision, right? So to be able to work with a company that is American, right? That, that stands for all those values, even to today. Yeah. You know, they stand for all that, the quality, the people. It's true. The nation, right? So, you know, work with them, I, um, I get to try out their new guns, right? That's, that's, <laughs> that's always a awesome. Perk, yeah. um, you know, they listen. If I have my input, they would listen. Um, and, you know, we have great future projects with them. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they're giving us uh, opportunities that a lot of other companies never did. You yeah. know, and I'm very fortunate and I'm very blessed that I get to work with such a professional team, get to work with uh, other ambassadors like Rob Layton, who's a world, world champion class, shooter, yeah. you know, and he's a world champion guy, you right. know, just getting to know him and, and the Springfield Armory team. So very blessed, looking forward for many years yeah. uh, working together. They definitely take care of me yeah. and, um, Loves it's a good Armory. family brand, good yes. American brand, no doubt. It's so inspiring, um, you know, listening to your story and listening to your journey, um, you know, because I think there's, there's just so many points of confusion and sources of conflict as, as a person grows, you know, and I don't just mean, you know, from, from youth to adolescence to becoming 18, but you know, hopefully everybody continues that journey of growth and discovery. And I think that it's, it's rare that you find somebody that can show strength and compassion at the same time, right? That can be a warrior and, and a role model and, you know, somebody authentic and compassionate and caring and giving that wishes for the better of everybody while also stands more than capable and ready of defending those same people, right? Usually it's, it's one yes. or it's the other, yes. right? And, and so, you know, you've kind of embodied that, that complete person in my mind, mm -hmm. right? That balance of, you know, kindness and strength at the same time. It's, uh, it's amazing. It's, 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 uh, it's inspiring. It's, it's, I, I appreciate you, uh, you sharing this room with us because I know how personal it is. Um, and, uh, and I'm honored to have uh, been invited in. Thank you. Hey, arigato. <laughs>